So I'm here in Leica Infinity version 3.3 and I'm going to show you how to create an export template to get your data in a simple ASCII format out of Infinity to a third party software. So I will start by pressing the export button and then I will set my export type to ASCII. You'll notice there are several export formats. In the upper right hand corner of our box we have template and we're going to create a template. I'll also show you that I've already created several different templates for different types of exports. Uh, you do have the ability to edit any of these templates simply by selecting the pencil here. You can use uh, this export, uh, you can save this template out to your hard drive to share with other folks in your office that are using like Infinity and then they'll be able to load that and use it on their in their software as well. You also have the ability to delete the template. So today I'm going to create a new template so that I can export our point number, northing, easting, height, code, and attributes for the data that we collected. So again I'll select my template, I'll press new. Uh, the first thing I want to do is give it a name so I'll call it point number, northing, easting, height, code, attribute, and I'm going to set this to US survey feet. The next thing I want to do is select the columns for export. So I chose the option up here in the upper right hand corner and now I can choose the fields that I want to export. So I will uncheck the items that I don't want to see in the export and once I have everything set I'll press OK. Our screen now will be updated here to show what's going to be in the export. The next thing that I want to do is select my column separator. Um, this would be whatever you currently uh, have your CAD program set up to use. I typically use comma. I can either type that in or select it from the list. I will set my coordinate type to local grid. I'm going to set my units here to US feet and you notice that the software goes ahead and converts this and I check the remainder of the boxes. It tells me that my file extension here is going to be .txt. If I want I could select a different ex extension for the file and that would give me the default extension. So now that the template has been created I press OK. The next thing I need to do then is give a, file, uh, a name to my file and I will complete the process by selecting export.